Hello, good afternoon to all of you. Konnichiwa. This is Kim again for Make Your Life Easier. And I'm now here to talk about a fragrance called Club de Nuit Intense Man from the House of Arma. <laughs> So let's get on with a quick presentation. So this is the box. As you can see, the name of the fragrance, Club de Nuit Intense Man. And at the side, also the name of the perfume and the name of the house on top of the box. And at the back, you can see the ingredients. And at the bottom, you can see the batch code and on the bottle this is a black bottle glass black bottle and there are diamond like stones embedded on the bottle and the name of the fragrance and also the name of the fragrance at the side nothing on the back and nothing on the other side so the presentation is good I rate it like maybe 7.5 out of 10 okay so let's get on with the notes so at the top you'll get lemon black currant and apple middle notes you'll get jasmine and birch and at the base you'll have vanilla ambergris musk and patchouli so at the top you'll get a blast of citrus lemony citrus from the lemon from the lemon and black currant I don't get apple yeah I don't get apple at all it's really strong lemon on the top and Maybe after 5 to 10 minutes, you'll get to the heart of the note. Then jasmine will come in. And the smokiness comes from the birch. And after 20 minutes, there goes vanilla. Vanilla starts to come in in the ambergris. And becomes a little bit musky musky and some patchouli so let's get on with the hype about this fragrance I saw a lot of review about this fragrance it's really famous because it is a clone of Creed Aventus for me yes it is really similar very close to Creed Aventus well, not much of the opening because it's really strong. The opening is strong. But when you get to the heart and the bass notes, yes, it really is very similar to Aventus. But there is a catch. My impression about this fragrance, I wore this for about a week now. I've been wearing this every day because I want to get to the bottom of the performance. Uh, reviewers, a lot of review, reviewers on YouTube uh, says that the performance is great. They said it lasted like 8 to 10 hours. But no, not for me. I'm sorry, not for me. Maybe because of my skin, but it's, it really doesn't perform. I sprayed it first. The first day I sprayed it five times it lasted like two hours and then it becomes a really faint skin scent and then the next couple of days I tried spraying a lot with no exaggerations I sprayed this thing this fragrance for about 15 times how I sprayed it first five times all over my body and then after two minutes I layered it another five times and then after five minutes I layered it but still it doesn't last that long 
the most I can get out of this fragrance about the long longevity is like five hours, maybe pushing towards six hours with a lot of sprays, but that's it. Yes. As you all know, if you've been following me on YouTube, I only collect uh, perfumes that last long. I'm a fan of long-lasting perfumes. And maybe this is not one of them. Maybe I will just decant this and just give it away to some of my subscribers who are following me here in YouTube. So. If you're one of them, so stay tuned on my future videos. I will decant this. And then if you live here in Nagoya, I'll just bring it to you. Because um, as you all know, we are still here in Japan on emergency quarantine. So we have nothing to do. So I have all the time in the world to give the fragrance to you. The decanted fragrance. So, so that's it. Uh... If you're a fan of Aventus and you just like the smell, give it a try. There's nothing harm from doing it because it's really cheap. No, it's not that cheap. It's about 30 to $40 on your favorite website discounters and doesn't cost that much. Unlike some other clones like vintage perfumes, pineapple vintage, that costs a lot. But if you really wanted to have that um, long lasting, it's not a clone, but it's close and on the opening, but going to the base, they go separate ways. I suggest you get Cedrat Bois, which is my favorite perfume. Yes, because it lasts on me like 10 to 12 hours for just 4 to 5 sprays. So, so let's talk about this. I will not recommend this if you are looking for a long-lasting perfume. But if you are looking for the closest clone to Aventus, yes, this is, uh, you can buy this. I recommend this, but for me, it's a no. I rate this fragrance out of 10 I'll give it a 6 because it has poor longevity. I hope I cleared some issues about this fragrance today and keep in mind that I'm not sponsored or in any way. So my views about this fragrance is upon my personal experiences. So that's it for today. So if you like the contents of today's video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, make your life easier, and click the like, and make some comments for future videos. Okay, this is Kim. Thank you. Arigatengs. Bye.